the Honda Fit, one of the best cars ever made for one million reasons. But what if I told you we can make this a little bit better? When I first got this car, the speakers were trash. So I replaced them with two or three or four or 10 way speakers. I don't really remember what I put in them. I think they're three ways and they're very treble heavy. So today we're installing this. This is a 10 inch kicker powered sub and hopefully this solves all of our problems with the high end stuff. What is going on guys? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Do I know how to install a subwoofer? Not a clue. This one should make it a lot easier because I think it's only a few wires and that should be as simple as possible. It's already powered, so there's nothing to do with amps or anything. I think I just plug it in the back of the radio, plug it to some power source and ground it. And I think that's pretty much it. But we're gonna take a look and we're gonna learn this together. The packaging seems pretty straightforward. Just some boxes. The actual sub and enclosure itself. And then you have your accessories right here. Now this sub is nice. It's only 10 inches, so it's nice and small. It's sleek and it can even do it face down. So you can put it under a seat or anywhere you really want. And I like it because it comes with quick disconnects for everything. And having a fit, if you don't have one, you won't really know. But the trunk space in this car is so like useful. So I can still put the seats down, take the sub out whenever I need to. And just two cables go back in here to make it super simple and easy just to hook this thing back up. So looking at the diagram, this is what it comes with. So it looks like these go to your speaker inputs for left and right side and then the red goes to your battery and the black goes to your battery for positive and negative and that should pretty much be it for wiring and then you have this to wire up the remote which is kind of cool because I can just put this anywhere to adjust the base levels so I guess we're gonna start taking apart the radio start fishing line through everything now the first thing we did was run the whole harness through our little firewall hole and there's one in the fit on this side and you just have to take off the little cap I put a little metal little metal thing through it like a little rod just so I can see where it points out put the harness through there fish it all through I'm gonna zip tie the power cable to like the brake lines and everything just to clean it up make sure it doesn't touch anything hot because it has to go past all of my exhaust stuff so hopefully it stays as and cool turns out I don't have a clue what I'm doing and they sell a kit for this car to make it a little bit easier well not specifically for this car but to make it a little bit easier so I'm gonna update you guys when that comes in so we got our adapter and all it is is just the wires that the harness has because it's two RCAs. So we're just gonna splice these in real quick and then I guess put the RCAs to the radio and see if it works. Now the nice thing about this kit that I am using for the wiring is it's by kicker and this is also a kicker speaker. So everything is already color coordinated to exactly what it should be to make it nice and easy. Just a quick little splice and we got everything put together. We just went color to color. So the next thing that I'm pretty sure this is what this kit is for is we have this, you have RCA cables. So we're just gonna run this to the back of the radio and we're gonna test it out to see if it works hopefully it does and then we'll start wire tucking and hiding everything the right way everything should be wired up so i guess we'll put some power to the car and see if anything turns on it did absolutely nothing and i think i have an idea i'm going to try to redo the power wire because i think the connection just might be poor on there right now so we're going to try that and see if it works so it's kind of interesting because i'm not getting power to the sub at all and i don't know why because power's running i grounded the ground there should be going power to it so pretty much that little box that i bought didn't really work too well so the only thing i have running through that box is the right and left negatives that also then runs to an rca cable to the back of my head unit in the sub input to make the sub actually work so that's the only point of that box nothing else worked with it don't know why so i have my remote wire running to the head unit i have everything else is scattered along the car so the next thing i really have to do is hide all these wires because right now the car looks like this and uh, everything's uncrimped, so I gotta recrimp things. So right now, I have to work on wire tucking everything because there's wires everywhere. And I'll show you what the radio looks like right now and show you what the back looks like. And it's it's not clean or good or put together. So we have to finish up the wiring and start wiring tucking everything.
So when I was fiddling around trying to make this work, I disconnected some of my radio wires in the back of the radio. And it's like 10 o'clock in the morning and it's already like 90 degrees out here and I'm getting sweaty and slippery and this isn't easy. So my, so my plan for hiding all these wires is to do everything on the driver's side and just put it down the side pillars so that way it's protected and it's underneath plastic shielding everything. The only thing is the power cable is gonna be the tough one because I already have it hooked up and it's already crimped. So I might have to cut it to make it go smoother, but I'm gonna try to do it anyways. So we'll see how that goes. But that's gonna have to be running on the passenger side because of the way the firewall works. So it might be a little messy on that side. The wire tucking sucks. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that any better. Pretty much I have it going through all the side pillars, but some of the side pillars don't want to come up. So there might be a spot that the wire is a little bit exposed, but it's underneath the seat. So I'm not really too worried about it. So now our speaker wire and our remote wire is all hooked up though. So we can plug this back in. Then we just gotta go on the other side to do the power wire. And I think we're all tucked. It's really hard to make wire tucking look interesting and fun in any way, but we're all put back together. I even put my microphone in because when I put the radio in, I actually didn't put the microphone in, but everything is clean, except I did make a couple mistakes and you know, I'll show them off because we gotta be honest on this channel. You can see that we're completely tucked until we get right here. And when I ran my power, I didn't realize I went over and above the uh, seatbelt so you can see it there. Now ignore the dirty car, but let's show off the sub because it looks really clean back here. Now I'm gonna do some sound clips here and I'm not sure if you'll really be able to like pick it up or not on video. So we're just gonna do some uh, royalty free music with the sub on versus off and we'll see if you guys can hear anything. So this video claims to be royalty free and it's called Fast Aggressive 808 Rap Beat Brutal Dark Hip Hop Instrumental. So we're gonna do it with the sub on or off first for a couple seconds and then we'll turn it on and see if you guys can hear the difference over camera. So pretty much, I would say that this sub is pretty close to like what a stock sub would sound like in a car. Maybe a little bit more boomy. It is nothing crazy, it is only 100 watts, and I don't know much about speakers and subs and everything, but 100 watts really isn't that much. But I will say this, these speakers, I think they're three-way speakers or two-way speakers, they got tweeters built in. This sub balances everything perfectly. It's not, you know, it's not shaking the car. I mean, some songs, yeah, your mirrors are all shaking and stuff, but it, to me, this is kind of perfect for what I wanted. It's all quick disconnect. I can disconnect it with one wire and take it out. It did come with a little remote if I want to use it, but I can also just control everything from my head unit, so it's not necessary for me to use. Ease of install, it wasn't easy to install, I would say. I thought it was going to be much easier. I thought it was going to be power ground and a sub wire, and that was not the case. That little dongle did make it easier, but you still have to run multiple wires to the front of the car, which kind of makes it difficult to install. It wasn't impossible. I mean, I obviously got it done, but it wasn't as easy as I thought it was gonna be. And honestly, a regular just amp and a sub might have been easier. I've never really used subs before, it's my first time. Overall, I would say I am happy with this purchase though. And again, this is the kicker, 100 watt, all-in-one system. So it might be your interest, maybe it's not, I don't really know, but this definitely brings the fit a little bit better to becoming a daily driver. The radio plus the speakers plus the sub now really makes like your ears happy. And that is super important to me because I do deal with this car and I drive it every day and I want good sound quality when driving around and this definitely does it for me. I hope I explained everything properly when I was doing the install. Blue wire goes to the blue wire and the radio. They're all remote wires so as soon as you turn the key on the sub will turn on. Power it, ground it and then if you choose to use a little dongle it kind of makes it a little bit easier because you have to run one sub wire and that's it. But if you don't you have to splice it into your uh, splice it into your right and left speakers which I didn't want to do because I didn't want to take off my door cards again because that's a pain and this car 
car is getting older and all the plastic is super rigid. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave you guys off here. So if you guys could please give me a few things, comment, like, subscribe, do the fun stuff, keep doing you, stay motivated. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out and peace.